Hi friends, my name's Liz. I am now 46 years old. I feel like, oh gosh, I'm getting older. And I am, I'm honestly a latecomer who just recently learned how to budget and I am behind the ball on saving for retirement. And now as of two weeks ago, I am laid off from my work. So from trying to earn money to dealing with life, I hope there's some inspiration in today's video so you can get a little sneak peek into my world. And maybe if you're in the same situation as me, we can lift each other up as we both work on our financial games. Speaking of games, happy leap day. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. I'm sort of loving it because uh, there's one extra day where I don't have to pay my rent. But the most important thing is I did this leap day savings challenge on Instagram and on every odd day I added money into this. Technically, I started this before we left for Australia in mid-January so that on February 8th, I could jump back into the swing of things. But January feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah, because two weeks ago, like I said, I lost my job and I really wasn't sure if I was going to be able to finish this challenge at the high dollar amount. But also it was just this little voice in me that's saying, now is the time like to make sure that I have money put away from our long term emergency fund. I might need that emergency fund sooner than I think, but this money has actually come from me just watching my food budget. <laughs> I've been eating some very unique pantry meals and eating through the freezer. Um, along the way, I lost six pounds in the last month. It's probably from me not buying snack food, <laughs> but $225 and we are going to add this uh, a month ago it was not going to go to my long-term savings but now it is so this is week ahead and it is my long-term emergency fund and it's breaking it down into bite-sized pieces because looking at saving for a month at a time is too big for me to even fathom Okay, let's do a little bit of voiceover while I'm coloring because the worst secret in the world is that it was my birthday this week. I have some childhood issues that stem and love to pop up on that day, but even without having a job, I just, I felt love, I felt blessed. And honestly, this week, it was just the best birthday that I've ever had in my entire life. If you watched my last video, you saw that I had $51 that I added to my CD ladder. And then I did receive <laughs> overwhelmingly $180 extra in cash gifts. I'll, we'll keep those people private, but they were each told where their money was going. But I was able to put $100 into my Roth IRA and $80 into my CD ladder. And for me, honestly, 470 days ago, I could barely save $55. So it feels like the ultimate financial move for me to just be cognizant that while there's things that I want right now, they won't give me the financial security that my heart is telling me that I need for the future. And what is crazy is that last week I was legitimately thinking, oh, I'll have no money for my CD ladder or for my Roth. And now it has $230 for a future Liz. So when I tell you guys that the money will come or God will provide, I just, I'm aware it was my birthday, but, um, I just, I really believe in that. And because I don't like to be the person to be like, yay, it's my birthday. Just these people doing little things, just it filled my heart. I also received this beautiful sunflower gift basket. Um, I meet, received some seeds and a plant to root and grow, uh, a gift card for waffle fries, a beautiful money tree plant. Um, in a second, I'll show you what I received from my son and then also my friend. But we have for this week three, and I, I skipped this because I just wanted to color the three lines, 500 in the bank, 600, 650, 670, 690, 710, 720, 730, 735. I'll put it on the screen what Cam did. He came in to my bedroom. He was, I was trying to sleep and he was playing Stevie Wonder's Happy Birthday. By the way, a budgeting friend sent him $7 and I'm just gonna use his C box binder to just put this in here. I'm thinking that maybe it's not gonna be a C box binder anymore. It's just gonna be Cam's cash. And if you know his old channel name, that was the name of his channel. But he came into my room and he had flowers for me. He had a card. He is almost 19 and I don't think he actually realizes that you get a free envelope when you buy a greeting card because he just handed me the card. And then also, 
through I had um, he got me a Reese's cup and some soda and some flowers so he really went above and beyond and the fact is that he didn't forget and then I will also put on the screen I love lighthouses and this is my favorite lighthouse it's in Port Macquarie it's called Tacking Point and my friend on January 6 sent me a little snippet and wouldn't tell me what secret project he was working on and I thought it was something to do with his work but no it was actually the design and I thought he had it commissioned for me I peeled back the wrapping paper and I just started crying because I knew exactly one I love stained glass and two just this lighthouse is I'm, I am not someone who I don't have things that I don't have lighthouses in my house but I just love this lighthouse anyway I saw it and he knew how much I loved this specific lighthouse and I got emotional and he got emotional and I honestly I thought he commissioned it but no he made it himself and that was just even more precious when someone does something with their time when they don't have a lot of it it just threw me over so that was it it's made my birthday so completely over the top and amazing. I think the other amazing thing that I have going on right now is I just realized you, I've been very open and honest about my anxiety on my channel before, but um, I have, it's been two weeks since I lost my job. And surprisingly, I have only had one panic attack during this period compared to a couple of years ago when I was dealing with them like several times a week. So it feels like something has changed. And I know a lot of you have felt that maybe I'm a little bit calmer right now. And I don't know if I'm calmer, I just, but the one thing is I am not sad and maybe it's because we still have a little bit of severance coming in through the 15th of this month but yeah not sad but today it is just a day of blessings thank you to everyone who has been helping me with get my channel growing I am so appreciative 10 20 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 and this is YouTube money that I wouldn't have had before that I'm actually going to use to put into my family binder. And what a beautiful binder. I put 50 here so I would remember that out of the 215 I had allocated for savings challenges. So I just wanted to make sure that I could remember that. And here is where we left off last time. And this is GP's odds and ends with an IOU because what kind of video would I do without an IOU? And I need to pay that back. One dollar, there we go. Why did... I think I did I say that I was doubling this last time I don't remember that but I have four dollars here so I think we get to color in this extra beach ball and let's color in this one I'm now just apparently making these basketballs so we'll have six dollars in here total one two three four five six thank you so much to Jessica and then so I guess I have a question for you guys and it is how do you actually budget because it took me to realize it took me a while to realize that budgeting is actually kind of a two-step process for the longest time I have just had a spreadsheet and I just saw it as forecasting and planning and I had that locked down I have a spreadsheet that I have used and it shows me the highs and the lows for a year but what I would see was that there was leftover money that I would consider discretionary money and then I would spend it on the first day of my paycheck and then obviously then I would scramble and then I would late pay and I would get myself into trouble later on this is a cute little card set from Ren with mischief managed budgets Tracy with Golden Girl Budgets has the best set up using Ren's cards. And honestly, that was my goal to be in a position to do something like that. And I think she has like 10 of Ren's card sets and I, I was envious and I wanted to do it, but uh, in January, Liz didn't have the money to buy 10 different card sets and copy how Tracy is doing it. So I'm just, January's Liz was able to buy one set. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue talking about like what budgeting is because the second part that I realized that I have not been doing well is just categorizing and tracking. And let me show you this. You guys know that my promise to myself at the beginning of the year was consistency and not perfection. So if you feel like 
like you need to get back on track, I hope you'll join me because I am going to put pen to paper in March and just make sure that I truly track where every cent is going and give it a category because sometimes I just pull money out of my envelopes because maybe I spent money on hair or because we needed a cord because someone lost their phone charger. So my goal for March is actually to just be better at this. So let me know what your March goal is for your budget. So here we have Madeline with Madeline Budgets and three, bless you, bless you. One, two, three. Yes, I'm so happy about this. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This one you guys know is hilarious because this looks like my son when he was a kid. And another two, so thank you to Spooky Budgets for this one. We have $8, so nine and 10, and I'm actually going to take these five ones and do this because I always prefer the least amount of bills in my envelopes as possible. Grow Your Garden, and this is from Living Simple Studios. We have 14 in here, and I'm actually doing this differently than most people. I think you would, you'd roll a die and you would go through and play it that way, but I actually just want to play it and save as much for my garden. I know with this whole work thing that I'm probably not going to have the garden that I've had in the past couple of years, and I am okay with that, but 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we'll do this again. So $15, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Habit Stack is a super cute challenge from Neen with the Joy Ninja, and it was one of her freebies that she had last month, and I think you guys said that I didn't have the right number, or I didn't have the right number of things colored in, so I did make sure that was correct. So now we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. I love to read. And I have the Libby app, with, which is connected to my local library. If you don't have that, it is amazing. It is literally my favorite thing to do. And it's always a surprise when I'm on the, the wait list for a book and then it shows up and I'm like, yay, I forgot that I even reserved this. Cell phone, we do need a new cell phone. This is gonna take a while. So I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna do a dollar for it and I'm gonna put $3 in today. I made some little notes on this one and the reason why is I would always rather this money be in the bank and this way it makes me feel like I can get a bit of a fast win as opposed to if I just put $5 in here every time I do this challenge and me, I, I kind of feel like this is gonna be a binder that maybe I stuff twice a month. I realize that I would actually take too long and it just, I just, I want the wins. I want the money in my account so I feel like I'm making progress with things. Here is where we cannot skimp, especially right now. If our dryer goes out and I'm in a world of hurt, then, well, in weather in the Midwest is not nice and it's not conducive to being able to dry clothes outside. The other issue is in the spring, I have massive seasonal allergies. And when you put your clothes out, it, it really does affect how I'm able to live. If you wanna know how jankety my dryer is, I have repaired it. It is an old dryer. And honestly, if I don't turn it off the right way, uh, the heating element stays heated. So, so many of you have expressed a concern <laughs> that it is dangerous. I am well aware of that. And trust me, the dryer does not run unless I'm here in the house. Okay, this is amazing because we're back at the beginning of the binder and let's let's just keep going. Let's pick another little card from Ren and we'll see what we have to do with this one. And my theory, when I finish any of these challenges, this is something that is going towards our family. And of course, always I know that if I need to use it for debt or if I need to use it for our emergency fund, that will that will be my backup. So we're adding seven dollars now five six seven eight nine oh that's so fun I, these cards are just the cutest things i honestly the quality of them seriously it is it is crazy and insane i love how red makes those let's keep going with the birthday challenge and we'll see five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen let's see how far we can go 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna have an IOU for two dollars, but I scratched a seven, a four, and an eight. And again, it's going into birthdays. Cam's birthday is Florida, so that is taken care of. And honestly, the next birthday is October, so that feels good. I'm gonna write an IOU for $2. And speaking of March, let me give you a sneak peek into my freebie that I have available for March. I've been loving watching Jill with What Matters Most play Struggle on her channel. She's playing the physical version. So I decided to re-release a digital version. This is something that if you don't have a printer, you can actually just screenshot on your phone and you can play that way. I am gonna be playing this on Instagram, but you can download this and you can designate whatever amount that you want per word. There are 10 challenge words. There is a link in the download file to where you can view those challenge words. It will be online on April 1st and that's no joke. But I hope you guys join me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!